Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Infinite Chronicles Gaming back, ready to slap with another Monster Hunter video. And today, we're talking weapons. Top 10 sword and shield designs. We've got four days until Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak comes out. This is the second of three videos I will do today. The third video is going to talk about the long sword designs that I find to be the best. And so, let's get it on with number 10 being the morphed knife. This is the great Baggies sword and shield. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I absolutely love this one. Um, the, the baggy fur, the color, it looks like it puts you to sleep, in all fairness. It looks like a weapon that can put you to sleep. Number nine, we've got the Secta Un Green. Obviously, the Bunahabra, um, sword and shield. This one, being green, of course, love it. Um... The design, of course, is very lovely, and it looks, you know, very similar to the other weapons that hold a Bunahabra tree. Um, with its design, of course, they have made it special and specific to Sword and Shield, but um, the green color on the blade itself just really sells it for me, because green is an amazing color. Number eight, the Burly Beak. <laughs> And boy, is that sucker burly. Oof. But um, the uh, the Oroctor, um Sword and Shield is incredible. One of my favorite small monsters in the entire franchise. Um, of course, and the adult Agnectar is, is um, my, oh, let's say fourth favorite monster in the entire franchise. And I am still crying to this day as to why he is not going to be in Rise. I thought that would have been perfect. Almadron just slid into his spot and they just, you know, ruined my day with that. Anyway, anyway, anyway. The Oroctor Sword and Shield is incredible. Um, it looks wonderful. The red color, the blade looks just like an Oroctor. Um, it, it's another use of small monsters in the game to make weapons with. I think that is lovely and awesome. Um, definitely one for my top 10. All right, number seven, the Queen's Rapier. Um, the Rathian Sword and Shield looking very nice, very thorny, very prickly, very knightly. If I'm getting... Um, a good, uh, well, I wouldn't say knightly. I guess it'd be more like a fencing type of blade there. Um, either way, it looks awesome. Those thorns look like they would absolutely hurt. The shield looks like it can also be used as a weapon because it's also got thorns on it. Um, however, I would say it looks a little bit more fragile than the other ones. Um, of course, I'm sure it's not nearly as fragile as it looks. But um, definitely a lovely design. Um giving the Rathian a lot of credit in this one. Number six, the chef's knife. I would dare to say butcher's knife instead of chef's knife, but hey, either way, the Gosrag sword and shield is looking fabulous. Um, I like it simply because of how it looks. To me, it looks more like a butcher's knife, obviously, but... Um, Still, go hacking and slash, slashing with um, Gosserag's butcher's knife and a, and a shield, and I think you might see results. Uh, either way, the design is lovely. I love the sword's design, and I love the shield's design, and so I couldn't not put this one in my top ten. The Waking Nightmare... If I'm not mistaken, this one is one of the special trees near the bottom of the uh, Sword and Shield chart um, down there by the Rampage tree. If I'm not mistaken, I don't remember which one it's from. I apologize. But if I 
also remember correctly, this one does induce the sleep element as well. Um, either way, the blade, of course, is on the left-hand side there. That is very unique for a blade. The shield is bigger than the blade. <laughs> so, there's not that many sword and shield combinations where the shield is bigger than the blade. Um, I think that is really cool. Of course, in my honest opinion, there doesn't seem to be a sharp part on that blade at all. Never used this one in combat. Um only seen it you know i have it uh bought it up to upgraded it and all that but um never used it in combat so i don't know if that blade is um expands when it, you know or, or retracts and stuff like that when you pull it out and sheath it or not but um doesn't look too practical for combat in my opinion but its design definitely is practical enough to be in my top five number four the Rathalos Blade, Blazing Foul, Foul, Foul Shun. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, anyway, the blade. Look at the blade. That is beautiful. It glows with a fiery red hue. Um, the shield is, looks literally just like somebody peeled a Rathalos scale off the poor Rathalos and called it a day. But the blade itself is absolutely beautiful. Um, glows red, uh, fiery, king of the skies type feeling to it. That is lovely. That design is awesome. Um, you know exactly what blade that is, because I'm sure this has been a very similar blade throughout the years of Monster Hunter. Um, that is a wonderful, wonderful design. And then we get to the Bishotten weapon, the Shanghai Pure Blade. Bishotin's blades are incredible. It doesn't matter where they're from. Um, he seems to always have a beautiful design for his weapon. And the sword and shield is no different. You can see the Bishotin in the shield, in my opinion. The colors, the green, the yellows, the blue, are just incredible. Of course, you've got little talons on the sword handle and on the end of the sword there. Um, but of course, I think the fur on the shield plus the talons on the sword, plus the color really gives this one a pop to me. It brings it out, and it's deserving of being in the top five and in the top three. Number two, the high frost edge. I mean, just look at it. The shield is like a little snowflake. Um, and then the sword is literally a club of ice. <laughs> You feel more like Goss Harag slinging this around than you do any other sword and shield, in my fair opinion. Um, the High Frost Edge is a lovely ice blade. Um, and of course, there, I mean, what is there to say? It's an ice blade with the ice flake shield. Um, it looks incredible. Doesn't look like it would last that long if you were fighting in the Sandy Plains or in the lava caverns, but, of course, the design is what we're going for here, and that design is incredible. And, my number one favorite design on the sword and shield is the Master Odyssey. Might be weird for some people to be like, what, that's your number one? But it is. I love this. This water blade is absolutely beautiful. The design is beautiful. The blue color with the... Uh, kind of like the uh, old rustic look with the, I guess, the metal there is really lovely. Um, I really like this blade. It's fun to use. I've used this in combat before. It's fun to use. It is, um, it's beautiful to look at. You can stare at it all evening. Um, really not much to say about it except for the beauty and the, uh, sturdiness usefulness the design everything looks wonderful you can tell that it uses the water element because of the colors and the design of it and and yeah that's my number one that's my top 10 sword and shield designs in monster hunter rise with sunbreak coming up we'll try to do the same thing once i acquire every weapon in that game but until then keep looking out for my top 10 videos Look out for my gameplay videos coming starting on June the 30th with myself and with me and Scott. And 
like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content. We'll see you guys on the next one.